guys, it is 31 Win1231. I have a new video for you guys today. I'm super excited. I've been wanting to do this build since I started this channel. I'm not even kidding. When I first started the channel, I was looking for build inspiration and I saw this house that was shaped like a violin and I was like, that needs to happen and it needs to happen in The Sims 4. <laughs> um, and then I never did it because I got busy and college started and now obviously we're dealing with a whole pandemic <laughs> um, and then classes became all crazy. It was It was a lot. So I never did it. Um, now I'm doing it. I wanted to make it a standing violin, but I was feeling lazy and inspired all at once when I was building this, so I decided to make a laying down violin. I'll still do the standing violin at some point, just not in this video. There's some, uh, there's some, like, inaccuracies in this build. Violins actually have four strings. They have G, D, A, and E. I didn't have space for four strings, and I felt like making this violin fatter just to add a fourth string would compromise the whole entire shape of this house so it was like not worth it to me and then violins obviously also have four pegs to tune those strings i only have two pegs because once again placing walls in the sims you can't you can't really be that accurate so they kind of turn out kind of big there's no space for more than two pegs so i only made two they end up being a laundry area and a bathroom really small laundry areas and bathroom areas because of the fact that they're shaped so weirdly but nonetheless, they are laundry areas and bathrooms. I never play tested this, but it should work. I didn't see anything that was like tricky to maneuver around. I end up making those F holes that you see. If you don't know what the F holes are, please don't mock the name. That's what they're called. <laughs> That's what they're called. Um, but they're that sh weird shape in the middle of the violin, like the body of the violin. And those end up being pools, just like decorative, not not to use, obviously. I would have made them an aquarium, but you can't add fish in The Sims, and I didn't want to add, like, the weird paper fish. It just looked, it looked fake, and, like, it's obviously fake, so I just made it water, and it still looks super cool. It's just, ideally, I would have made that an aquarium, maybe. But yeah, so I decided to furnish this um, so that I was slightly saying slightly slightly inspired by like a gentleman's house in colonial britain um because i was looking up all wood like houses because i was going to make this whole entire house all wood and then a bunch of those type of images for colonial britain gentleman's house where they have like this dark wood and these gold accents and their kitchen and like dining is really extravagant so i loosely followed that idea very loosely followed that idea it took me a while. I ended up changing the colors a few different times. Um, but yeah, I actually, I used to play violin. Um, I quit my school's orchestra senior year because I just didn't have the time to take care of everything and also play violin all at once. Um, I started in fourth grade. I've been playing ever since my school required it. I went to private school and they, <laughs> they required you to play violin for fourth grade. Um, so that's what I did, and then I just kind of stuck with it. I haven't played it since senior year. Um, actually, no, that's not true, because senior year, I quit the orchestra, but I was still taking private lessons. I just wasn't playing in the orchestra, and then now, I'm not doing private lessons, and I'm not in an orchestra, um, because I started college, and I didn't want to, like, put too much on my plate all at once, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking of maybe bringing it with me next semester. It depends. It depends on how much. I'm going to start playing violin now, like practicing it again, and if I stick to it and like don't get lazy, then I'll bring it with me to college. Although I don't think I'll ever join the, the orchestra at my school. I think it'll just be me practicing in a room by myself for fun. You know, it's really crazy. <laughs> I'm changing the subject here. It's really crazy being in this like quarantine time because I'm seeing so many neighbors that I never knew existed. Like I've never seen them before like, all these kids, and I'm just like, where did these children come from? <laughs> where did they come from? Did they just, I left for one year for college, and now our place is popular with kids, but no, it's because now they're stuck inside all day, and so they finally leave their house instead, so it's just really interesting. I'm seeing, like, all these new faces that I've never seen before. In retrospect, maybe I, well, no, that's not true. I was gonna say, maybe I don't go outside enough, but I do. I go outside all the time, <laughs> all the time, because I have a husky. And the huskies need a lot of exercise. So I was, I was going to say maybe I'm just going out more, but I think I actually used to go out more in high school than I do right now. <sighs> but anyways, 
So I wanted to make this house for like a virtuoso. So it has this really nice violin, not violin, a really nice fancy piano with gold accents. And then it has um, the master violin, whatever the violin is that you unlock. And then it has a guitar as well. And yeah, originally I was going to make this at the F holes a garden area. But then I was like, no, we're going to make them into a pool because I thought this looked really stupid. I don't know. I don't know. I still, I mean, either way, they would have looked nice, but I think the water just gives it a nice little touch. It's something a little bit more unique. So that's why I went with it instead. But yeah, I mean, it does compromise the outside a little bit because now you can see there's water. And in reality, violins don't have water there, but that's okay. I ended up using the, I really don't like that I use those wardrobes, but I ended up using the, uh, what are they called? The wardrobes from Get Famous because they had the gold accent, but I don't like that they're white. But then I couldn't find anything that had like, that looked extravagant. So I ended up going with that instead. Oh my god, there's a husky outside. Ah! I've never... Okay, I see huskies in this neighborhood every once in a while, but not very often. So when I see one, I'm just like, oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> in case you guys don't know, I love huskies. It's why I own one. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, It took me a while to figure out how to furnish this. I kind of fumble with furniture a lot in this build, but I think it turns out nice. Um, and I'm going to do the standing violin concept with, the, like, making the roof paces look like a violin at some point, maybe next week. But Eco Lifestyle will be coming out soon. I think this is getting posted on June 1st or June 2nd. So Eco Lifestyle will be coming out, and obviously I will be directing my time to that pack because you guys will probably want to see the pack and see builds on it. So that's going to be my time spent for a while. I'm thinking of starting an LP, but if I do an LP, then I'll probably do face cam. And I don't know if I've, I want to do face cam. Just because, I don't know, actually. I could do it. I don't really care. <laughs> I could do it. It's just, I think an LP, I have to be a little bit more consistent. Whereas building, it's like, it's a build. And I think I get really invested. I get so invested in Sims gameplay where I'm like, no, everything has to go my way. And then I think maybe I'd be a little bit too time-consuming. Like, building is time-consuming enough, but LPs just feel a lot more time-consuming. I'd have to sit with you guys real-time um, and record an LP, whereas this one I'm just doing voiceovers. It's a lot easier. Even if I had face cam, it'd still be much easier than, like, real-time playing and speaking and <laughs> recording all at once. I'm not very good at multitasking. Although, you know what's really weird? I used to, so I never used to watch Sims builds until pretty recently, and now I watch them, and now I talk to myself while I build. I'm like, oh, this looks really nice, like, kind of like what Delagrissi does when she builds real time, except I do that alone by myself, and it looks super weird, but I think I've just gotten so used to watching other people talk while they build that I've started talking while I build, and I look like an idiot, but that's okay. I was also having an issue with this weirdly shaped bedroom, so I just end up cutting off the edge. It looks super bland, but he didn't really need a wardrobe. He already has, like, eight wardrobes in his hallway, so I was like, he doesn't need a wardrobe. He can just, it can be a really simple, empty-looking bedroom. And there's no windows, which is, like, doubly sad, but oh well. Anyways, I'm going to go now because I think this video is ending soon. So as always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like me, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like me and want to be notified every single time I post a video, go ahead and hit that bell button. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you next time.
guys, I just realized I did something so stupid. I forgot to change the terrain paint. And so there's like little dots of brown on the floor and you can see it in the screenshots and I'm embarrassed. I will fix that for when I upload this build. But I'm not changing the screenshots. As you can see. You're already at the end of the video. You know I didn't change screenshots. But anyways... <laughs> Um, please go ahead and comment on this video for what you'd like to see next. Um, give me any inspiration you have on the eco lifestyle pack and what you'd like me to do. If you want builds, you want me to renovate lots, or if you want me to do a let's play, put down in the comments down below. Give me some advice. Um, anyways, I'm going to go now. See you guys next time.